Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about how to choose the right colors for your newsletter and other email marketing. So before we get started, let me just talk about the importance of color. The choices that you make here are very, very important because colors have a tendency to represent different things to different people. For example, the color yellow is usually considered to represent youth. It's a youthful color. The color red represents energy and actually can increase your heart rate when you see it. The color blue represents trust and security. That's why a lot of banks have chosen blue in their logo. And a lot of businesses also choose the color blue. Then the color green is a color that represents wealth and also relaxation. So you can see why choosing the right color can be very, very important. Let me give you an example of colors gone wrong. As you can see here, this particular company, it's a travel agency, decided to use a lot of colors and I know exactly why they did it. I've, I've had clients that have wanted to do the same thing and I have to kind of talk them off that color ledge where they want a color for every single article that's out there, a different color. And the reason being is they say, well, I want each one to pop. I want to draw attention to this one and then to that one. And so they need to be different colors so they stand out. Well, as you can see, this email from this travel agency doesn't look too professional. Let me show you how that got corrected and how it was corrected. As you look at their new email marketing, you will see that the colors are not as bright, not as flashy, but you know why? They use the colors from their logo. Their logo determined, which determines their brand, um, or is part of their brand anyway, is a great starting point for them to introduce color into their email. And I would always recommend, no matter how many colors your logo has, never use more than three of those colors. If you have a one color logo, perfect, that's fine. You can introduce a splash of color from that one color. If you have um, a two color logo, that works well also. And then a three color logo, of course, hits that maximum number of colors I would recommend using in a newsletter. And how might these color be, colors be used? Well, for the major headline at the top of the newsletter, that could be one color. Once again, it's branded to you from your logo, so it's gonna look good, it's gonna, it's gonna be really, really, um, you know, it's gonna look nice, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uniform. And then the headlines to the different stories could be another color and then your buttons and also what might be called dividers that might divide the stories those could be the same color but could be the third color so that's how you could use color in your newsletter using three colors now once again if you only have one color that's fine just in those places introduce color the same way they would just all be the same color but it's gonna pop, it's gonna look good, and it's gonna be branded to your business. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk to you about is how do you get those colors? How do you match those colors exactly? Well, you if you know the artist who created your logo, they can probably give you those colors. And what they would need to give you is what's called the hex code, H-E-X, the hex code. And the hex code is a six, digit code that is made up of both letters and numbers. And that code actually represents more than 16 million different colors. So when you get the hex code, you will be matching your, co your colors exactly in your email marketing and newsletters. So maybe you don't know, <laughs> and this is probably the case for most of businesses, they don't 
no, or they can't get a hold of the artist anymore who created their logo. And so they don't have those colors. Well, if you have a Mac, it's pretty straightforward. You can pull that logo up on your screen and then you can use what's called the color picker. There is a color picker on a Mac and you go in and you select the different colors using the color picker and it will give you those codes. You write down those codes, you'll always have them. When you're putting your newsletter template together, use those codes, a uh, different color for maybe the headline, like I said, a different color for the article headlines, and then a third color for the different buttons that you have on there, on your, um, on your screen for read more. So if you're a Mac, it's pretty straightforward. If you're using a PC, and please put down in the notes if you know of another tool or maybe even a better tool or if the PCs now have this tool. As far as I know, they still don't have this tool. So what I would suggest doing is going to a website and you can Google it. It's called Red Ketchup. So R-E-D and then ketchup just like what you put on a hamburger. Red Ketchup. And when it comes up in your search, you might even see listed in the search, color picker. Just click on it, it's gonna open up the color picker app, and all you have to do is upload your image of your logo, and you'll be able to do the exact same thing that you did that I was explaining on the Mac. Just mouse over the color you want and select it. Now, when you're getting ready to put the different colors in, especially like if you're using a tool like Constant Contact, which is what I use for email marketing, you would go in and you would go in to pick your color, like you would, you would pick your text and you would highlight it, and then you would go in and pick your color. And when you're getting ready to change your color, you would wanna click on the Advanced tab. And that Advanced tab will open another window and you'll see a little box down there that will have that six digit, have a six digit code in it. It will have the current color that you've selected, but you just delete that one and paste in your new color or type in your new color code and you will notice it matches exactly. So I hope you found that helpful. It's very important that you're consistent in your branding, of course, and by using your logo to pick the colors for your newsletter and your email marketing, you will do exactly that.